like the no that thing I've given you that thing like what's yes. yeah like you me na no na like inside like you know I can do anything I want <laughs> I will show you that you can't get me. Yeah, like I will show you that you can't get me just because you, just because you have like that mentality of what you wear now, right? Like please, I will you on your own. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I usually feel confident as when I look the worst. What? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't go around. I go straight towards it. You know. My name is Mto Wazisi, Mto, aka Mr. Open Chats, and you are watching Open Chats with Mto. And welcome to our second episode of Open Chats. And today I've got a very, very exciting crew with me, and we chose to pick a better location, a more exciting location to match the energy. And today, just the theme of the day is confidence. You're probably wondering why confidence. Confidence means a lot of different things to different people. So I decided, let me get my friends today and play a Q&A of maybe five games whereby we ask questions intended to expose our different perceptions and different takes of what confidence is. Yeah, guys, um, that's what's going to happen today. We're just going to play a Q&A of exactly five questions and each speaker has a minute to ask. Hopefully, you guys watch till the end and let us know who your winner is and let us know who you think has the best perception of confidence, of course. Um, otherwise, without wasting much time, let me give it to my speakers and let them introduce themselves briefly. Um, my guy. What's up, guys? Um, I'm Photo Black Styles. I do modeling, personal training. Uh, basically, just about it. And um, I'm here on the show and I'm just glad to be here. Shut up. Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Tobile. Um, I am a politics student at the University of Pretoria. I am a nail technician and um, I sell plaster on tea. <laughs> okay. Oh, awesome. Hi guys, my name is Mokhali Mashishi. I'm also a student at the University of Pretoria, a leader at the Faculty of Humanities, a YouTuber and also an aspiring mentor. Yeah. And in so I am, let's just say I'm Mr. Open Chair. <laughs> so yeah guys, we play the Q&A, five questions exposing our different perspectives on confidence right now. Okay, so the first question is Do you believe in anything called absolute confidence? That is an individual who's confident in everything, anything, equal level of confidence. You go to school, here's that confidence. You go to school, here's that confidence. Um, anything that matters to life, like absolute confidence. Do you guys believe in that? <laughs> Let's go for it. Uh, no, I don't okay. think that because that's like close to perfection. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like no, nobody is that perfect, perfect, but we can actually work towards excellence. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can work towards being that, but I can never say that I am all about that. Like, I feel like okay. they should also know that there are certain things that I feel like we are all not confident about, and we have insecurities, we have flaws. Mm. You know, we're not perfect, but I feel like learning to understand and appreciate the fact that you do have those things, and coming out clean about it, I feel like you're a okay. bomb. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So basically, that's it for me. I think you you answered for me. Thank you. <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> okay. I also don't believe there's absolute confidence. Mm -hmm. I think if you can like if you have if you think you have absolute confidence, there's a dash of arrogance somewhere there. Okay. Because yeah. you can't you can't be confident in everything. As much as you can be confident in in your daily activities, mm -hmm. but not everything. Everybody has a challenge, sure. and everybody has that fear of change or it could be doing something new so but it doesn't it doesn't mean you won't gain the confidence to do that but in the beginning you probably you probably didn't have yeah, the confidence yeah. yeah i hear you guys and to be very honest i think y'all are speaking nonsense <laughs> oh, i am confident in everything like you can literally name him in anything right now and i'm definitely confident anything you can right now. Before we started shooting, <laughs> you were not sure whether to wear a cap or a beanie. You wore a cap and you weren't sure whether to be. Like, okay, okay, okay. You can't, you can't. Okay, guys. Um, I also think there's nothing such as absolute confidence. But as Mr. Photo Black said, you work on it, you gain confidence, you gain experience, and you become very, very much comfortable in it. So, absolute confidence, non-existent. But yeah, you just improve in, uh, in everything. Um, so guys, my second question is, uh, I want you guys to think carefully about this one, right? So the ready speakers, you go first. I'm ready. 
Um, the question is, when do you feel the most confident? I'm sorry. You're ready. So, over to you. Okay, it's not just um, one like one setting where I feel confident, yeah, yeah. but I actually feel confident at when I look the worst. What? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I love when you Okay. Like, it, it could be when I'm at home, uh -huh. looking homeless. Okay. Or when I'm at my boyfriend's place wearing, like, his shorts and a baggy t-shirt. Okay. Like, I don't care about anything when I'm when, when I'm in that position. Okay. Like, I'm so confident. I don't even care. I like I can literally take out my weight, throw it anywhere. Like, it's just. That's when I'm. That's when I'm myself, like mm. my true self, okay. and and I feel most confident when I dress up nicely. Okay. Like, cause like right now. Yeah. <laughs> cause I'm just like I know CC pretty. Why not be confident? Like, what are you lacking? Okay. Like this is you. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I also feel confident when I dress up nicely. I'm like. <laughs> I can do anything. I can. Okay, but like, <laughs> but like, honestly, yeah, yeah. when I dress up nicely, I feel like I can. Okay, not to 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 put it in a, like in a more sexual way, but I feel like mm. I can get any any gent. I'm really like gazing up for. Oh, so you guys do that intentionally? <laughs> <laughs> you guys do that intentionally? No, no, not intentionally. But, but, I'm but, not dressing up for guys. Funny, man. funny story, guys. Um, chilling in class, right? This guy over there. So this girl, you know, you guys do your no bra look. Yeah. So this girl walks in late, front of the lecture, with her boobs literally out there, a see-through thing, no bra, no nothing. Homeboy texts me, I'm chilling at the hey. floor. He's like, hey, bro, did you see that young one that went in there? You know. So you guys are basically doing no, that. No, we don't dress up for men. We don't dress up for men. <laughs> but I'm saying, <laughs> but I'm saying that no, like when you you, you dress up nice, my guess you, you can go anywhere, any like, even a social media. It's, yeah. it's about yourself. It's about yourself. Like. Dressing up gives you that thing, like with yes. yeah, like you mean that like, 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 like inside, like you know, I can do anything I want. <laughs> For a black sir, and when do you feel the most confident? When do I feel the most confident? Yeah, yes. Uh, I feel like I relate to me like I feel like I'm my worst, you know, like a lot of people feel confident when they have money. Okay. You know, you call like friends, some friends you think that they're your friends until they have money, they know to be found. Mm -hmm. You know, but they'll be here when they don't have money, and they'll show up in places when they have money. I feel like I'll be the most. Money doesn't define me, you know. And I'm saying related to my friends and to where I come from, you know, like we always need money, like it's a need. But for me, like I'm always my like, best behavior, best shape, and I feel like it's just all built in, you know. And it goes with the confidence that if I am confident, I can make money. I can make money out of nothing. When you're like, I fun, it's like, maybe shiny thing like, for sure, it's all Just get smart, <laughs> you know, and that's how I feel about it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I get you guys, all of you guys are speaking about confidence in relation to clothing, when you dress good or when you dress uh, terribly bad. For me, guys, it's it's company. It's company. I'm a sports guy, I'm into sports and um, mental health and emotional stability is a big thing in sports. So I am definitely the most confident when I'm around close friends that believe in me as well. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, like, when I'm yeah. around people that sure. I don't have to prove anything to, you know. Sure. When I'm around people that constantly remind me that, hey, bro, you good at what you do, you yeah. work hard, just keep on pushing, you know. Yeah. When I'm around those guys, people like that, that's when I'm anything the most most confidence out. So for me, what I've seen is company, when I'm with good friends I trust, like um, sometimes, even when I go to play a soccer game, you know, having him or her on the stands, just knowing that you're there is good for me, you know. Mm. So for me, confidence, I get it from company that I'm extremely comfortable with. Energy. Yeah, yeah. energy is contagious Beautiful. and if you're making me feel good, I'm gonna be up there. So good. Yeah, so the next question is quite interesting. This is our third question and it's now to do with dating. So do you guys believe there is anyone out of your league? <laughs> okay, can I start? Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, I don't believe there's sh like I don't believe there is someone out of my league. Yeah. But there is a limit. Yeah. I have my own preferences. So like as uh, just like age. Yeah. Like I can't date a person over the age of like maybe 35. Okay. You see, so that's out of my league. Mm -hmm. Like that's what I call out of my league. But it's okay. not a matter of 
I can't get that person or something like that. But it's a matter of who I'm the one choosing not to associate myself with those kind of people. You mm -hmm. see, like it's not really, it's not really like me saying that they're out of my league. Like okay. I can't get them or anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think I'll take um, like I'll take a read to Tobias' answer, but I'll say that there is people out of my league okay. in terms of. Like as she said, like as I've as, as I've said before, that it's not the guilty material um, looks in, in maybe like a mental week, intellectual mm -hmm. week, like would we're not the same. So mm -hmm. I can't be with this person because we don't think the same. We don't have the same vision. We don't okay. have the same plans. So that is leak for me. But in terms of in like more, it's internalized mm -hmm. than externalized. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So the question is now, you know, when we say out of your league, we think. Does anyone ever intimidate you as in like his intellectual capacity? Yeah, yo, yo, yeah, yeah, hey. it doesn't happen. Yeah, yo, a lot. Well, for me, guys, out of your league, I genuinely, genuinely think it's true. Um, I always make it an example with football, you know. That, that's why some players play for Barcelona, others play for, for Orlando Pirates, you know. There's levels to everything. But what I'm saying is just make sure that the reason you think someone is out of your league is not an insecurity. Because sometimes we just have bad perceptions of who we are okay, and we yeah. let that affect us. But honestly, we ain't that bad. So what I'm saying, leagues do exist. There's levels to everything. But just make sure it is not your insecurities. Some of us like challenges. Oh. Yes, go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like the thing is, the thing is this though, if you think someone is out of your league, you're naturally intimidated by them, right? So how do you go about with, with challenges? Okay, how do I go about this? Yes. But I think it's different for girls because they Yeah, can, like, yeah. we're not the one, the yeah. one going out. It's just for us, it's just eye contact here, yeah, then <laughs> if you don't come, it's your thing, then we move. We move. I feel like, um... Uh, I believe like I respect everybody's opinion yeah, yeah. and I feel like everybody has their own perspective and definition of out of the league yeah, yeah. Yeah. and I respect mm. that but for me I feel like I want every guy waking up knowing that dude you can have any <laughs> as long as you're to put the work on it and when I say work I mean like in your personal life which also ties down to that confidence okay. you know so I feel like like as you guys also said like for women it's they're the receivers, you know, mm -hmm. women are just always the receivers. Okay. So it could be always of like in a space of like, oh, should I or should I not? Or okay. how is it? But for me, I feel like as a guy, even if you feel like this is woman you want to be with or this is okay. girl, uh, shoot your shot, man. Don't shoot be afraid of uh, rejections, part of life, you know, that's what yeah. I just want to like say to people like, do not ever feel like rejection is going to hurt you. Mm. Like, shoot your shot, be you. And if you don't get that person or that mm. significant other, I say, the somebody, guess what? The somebody's gonna get you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. I have a question to you though. Uh -huh. I have a question for you. Let's say you really like this girl, this particular yeah. girl, uh -huh. and boy, she's wearing Louis Vuitton. Uh -huh. She's using the latest iPhone 11 Pro, uh -huh. and you're wearing clothes from Mr. Price, uh -huh. and you really like her. She is out of your league. That's the truth, and you're gonna be afraid of her. You're gonna be intimidated. I don't believe be that's honest. The truth. I don't how believe how that's do you the truth. go around that? Um, I don't, I go straight, I don't go around, I go straight towards it. You know what I mean? Like, I go, that's the thing, you know, you know, we're gonna be chilling as gents. Yeah. And we're chilling probably, which I used to do back in the day. Yeah. And we'd see a woman park a Mercedes drop out looking all classy and yeah. dolled up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'd be like, damn, that's, she's so fine. Uh -huh. And she's like, ah, relax, a boy. She's not, she's not. Hey. Yeah. For me, I don't want to be around such a circle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to be around because we're going to like, yo, let's do it. Like, let's do it. And I'm going to go there and stand up because I am a stand up guy. Uh -huh. I am going to pop up. So you say. So I know. Okay. <laughs> and girls like okay. confident guys. Uh -huh. Like, confidence is very attractive. If a guy knows what he wants, if he comes straight to you, Great. that's really attractive. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even if. They could be wearing literally anything, but as much if, if they say what they want. But yeah, at the same time, when we come with confidence, you guys say you cocky and you guys hate. Uh, no, no, don't, don't be cocky. arrogant. That yes. is, don't be arrogant. Yeah. So define the. Can you just give me a fine line? What is cocky and what is confidence? Cocky um, I can get you if I want. And like, I guess. It's, I will show you that you can't get me. Yeah. Like I will show you that you can't get me just because you just because you have like 
that mentality you go to wear now, right? Like, please, uh, I go you uh, right on uh, your own. Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. That's the one. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, yeah, you guys. Um, yeah. And the other question was, what would you do, or who would you be if you had all the confidence in the world? Sure. If you guys want me to go first, I can. Yeah, you okay. Can. Firstly, guys, I think this question is one that relates to me the most. Yeah. To be very honest with you, if I had all the confidence I needed, I don't think I would go to Varsity. Because the thing is that I once really did not need me to go to Varsity. Varsity was basically a, a safe net for me to fall onto. Oh. Otherwise, guys, if it wasn't... And now that I'm basically... have experienced Varsity, I really, really do not think it has had that major advantage on me. Meaning, I could have really missed it. All I needed was that leap of faith, that belief in myself to say, you know what, I'm talking. Just do you and, and skip that. Okay. What would you do, um, Tobile? Okay, but I think it's also the same for me because honestly, I don't like school. Yeah. Like, I don't. Mm -hmm. But I'm there because we have that mentality of which you have to go to varsity. Like, even when I applied, I literally did not know what I want to apply for because yeah. initially I wanted to do medicine, but I was just like, hey, I'm afraid of blood. So. But like I was just like, what am I gonna study then? Like, so I just went for politics. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't like it, but in politics you don't have to have a degree to make it. To make it definitely. So I was just like, let me just study it anyways. Um, I'm I'm at a better advantage. Mm -hmm. So honestly, if um, I had all the confidence in the world, I also wouldn't have went to varsity. Mm -hmm. um, like, I don't have a lot of limitations to myself because. I know what I want. Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm just like, not yet, not yet, mm -hmm. not yet. I'm gonna get there, but just not yet. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what would you be? What would have you done? Okay, um, I probably would have would be an actress. Okay. I probably would be um, like an artist because I like singing. I like. Uh, okay, I can't dance. Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I like singing. I like acting. Mm -hmm. But even in high school, like if, if there was a play, I only participated in one play. Okay. I knew I, I could get myself out there, but I was just like, eh, hey, so many people. It was better to sing because I, I was in a choir. Like, I don't stand out as much as I stood in the front, but mm -hmm. it's not just me. It's not just my you voice. You're rising in a crowd. Yes. Okay. So if, if, if I had all the confidence in the world, okay. I would have participated in every play. I would be an actress right now. And I really think you have it in you. You can make yes, it. Yes, go. <laughs> yeah, take it, take it. For the blacks, oh. if you had all the confidence in the world, what would you be doing right wow. now in 2020? <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to answer in a cocky way. Okay. Respectful. That's what I'm saying. Respectful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> For me, I feel like. I am the best version of myself right sure. now. I feel like I do have that confidence. Okay. You know, I feel like I already have all that confidence in the world. Okay. It's just a matter of what I'm actually doing, which is putting it into action. Okay. Unlike you guys, respectfully, you guys went to school. Yeah, yeah. I chose the other route, and I'm still super young, mm -hmm. and I'm still sticking on that route. Okay. You know, I'm not afraid to try different challenges, and I feel like that's what led me to be where I am. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. And I'm still growing. I'm nowhere even close to where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like for me. Like, I'm in a space where I'm in a fast lane, and when I feel like I'm holding back, I always ask or think of my 10 year from now vision, like, what, what would he say? Okay. You know, and I always have conversations with myself, I'm like, dude, like, what's the plan? How are we gonna get about? Like, I like putting myself in awkward situations, mm. you know, and then challenging mm. myself yeah. mm. so that I can find a way to come around about it. Okay. That's how I feel like I am, I've got the confidence, like, okay. I gotta go all in, there's okay. no other way. I would have definitely went for SRC president because no, I, I, I love leadership. Apart mm -hmm. from like, um, as a, I told myself that when I, I come to the University of Pretoria, I'm not just going to be a student. I'm okay. going to be a student something. Okay. Either I'm participating in school or okay. doing business on the side, but I'm going to be a student okay. or something. So if I had the confidence, I would have definitely ran for SRC president because I believe the vision I have for the University of Pretoria is really like you've got plans for yeah the I, have, I have plans for the okay. university plans. I care for the students I really care for the students since I've been in the position well 
like much of a faculty level position but I believe that I have much more greater plans for the university as a well, result whatever for SRC present. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. No, that's 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 beautiful. That's amazing. <laughs> that is really, really amazing and I think it's delicious because <laughs> so no I'm um, just looking for So let us look at the next question. Okay. Guys, this is a bit it's a, it's a bit more personal question, okay? I want y'all to think carefully because I know y'all have the answer. Is there any part of your life that you previously used to struggle with, you know? An area of your life where you used to lack confidence, but now, maybe not super confident, but you're very comfortable in that space, you know? So do you guys have anything in your life? It looks like you've got a yeah. lot to say about that. Do you have any areas in your life whereby you previously lacked confidence, but now you sort it? If you do, how did you get to the current state of comfort? Okay, for me, like, I had a, I had a stage fright. Okay. Not necessarily a stage fright, because I love the stage okay. from a young age, but I love the stage when I have to sing or do something like that, but not okay. speak. Okay. When it came to speaking, like, I wasn't terrible, but like even when I know what I'm supposed to say, like yeah. I just lose the words. Like I was, I wasn't comfortable in just standing in front of people and speaking, mm -hmm. and speaking about something that I know. And like I was always fidgetive. Like I, I, I look uncomfortable. Like yeah. And what helped me to get over is uh, to get over it was um, practice. Okay. Like practice and. Um, yeah, because I'm part of an actus, University yeah, yeah. of Pretoria, mm -hmm. so I was a speaker last year. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, I was, a, I was a speaker for Intravarsity mm -hmm. and my audition was a disaster. Mm -hmm. It was a total disaster, it was a mess, in a way that they were like, leave your speech out of it, tell us about something, so they can see that I actually can speak. Mm -hmm. And then like, it just took practice and getting used to speaking in front of people and I actually did it and hence I'm here mm -hmm. like in last year I would have never done this like, oh yeah we glad you made it so <laughs> um, anyone else to I can take it okay. um, for me it was um, I'm, an, I'm an extrovert surprisingly yeah. but I also struggled with public speaking okay. but I was really good with articulating speeches like honestly not to phone call myself but mm. hey my speeches are good no way <laughs> so um, I, I, I was really like I didn't believe in myself like oh my gosh um, I don't have the same English as David. I mean, look at me. Until I challenged myself, uh, one day we were advertising for this first year bride we were hosting as a faculty. So I challenged myself, like, no way, guys. I'll, I'll go to speak to, to students. It was a class of, of almost 1.5 learners. Mm -hmm. And I had to stand there and be like, hi, hi, please, you invited to the room. You know? So that is how I challenged myself to get out of the comfort zone and be like, you know what? If they love, it's not unto me, mm. that's them. So you, move. Open. Mm. you move. You know, mm. so yeah, that's how I actually, by speaking more to people up okay. there. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, um, that was so profound, yeah. you guys. Um, I feel like for me, uh, confidence just came later on in life as a teenage, like later on my teenage stages, you know, like mm. I feel like I grew up as a super skinny kid, like I was like... I like, remember you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Like I was dying guys, like I felt like I was dying but like it was just <laughs> yeah man. Like, I can relate, I can uh, relate. You're all skinny. Yo, <laughs> no way. I'll show you a picture. I'll show you a picture. Was, was was you a picture. Yo. Wow. Yeah. yeah, but um to say in that like I feel like life just transitioned because mm -hmm. I just felt like it went I went into fitness. Yeah, yeah. And one of my sole purposes was just like I just didn't want to be average. My fear was just not just to like improve average. thyself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like just do something, look good. When I work clothes, I feel like they fit me, not like look at like as a continuum. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know just having that. I hate person. you with wear like <laughs> You know? So uh, for me that was just it. it boosted my confidence. It made me feel like yo dude, like even if you want to boost anything, it has to come with patience, consistency, and yeah, responsibility. True. Yeah. And that's how I found myself all over again. Okay. Oh guys, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. I think this is the end of our episode. This is the second episode of Open Chats with Mto, and my name is Mto. So yeah, guys. Um, thank you, thank you for coming. I truly appreciate it. And um, guys, so basically, um, what I can say for our viewers, something to take at home. Um, confidence, guys, is something you work on. 
the ups, the downs, and us talking about confidence does not, it's not any indication to mean that we're perfect, we're absolutely confident, we're human beings like everyone else, we go through our ups and downs, but once you're cautious about certain things, how you handle it really matters, and what I've seen, very, very massive thing in confidence is the company you keep. The guys that you constantly with, the, the female friends that you constantly with, if you have people that are constantly doubting you, laughing at you, belittling you, um, whether you like it or not, whether it's a joke, whether it's serious, that thing really, really gets to you. Because the truth is, during your moments of, during your lows, what comes to the subconscious mind is those um, um, mockings, is those disses and whatnot. So I would say for confidence, what I've seen, the company you keep, it's really really important in boosting your confidence um that's what has been a revelation to me energy guys you just feel it when someone has no respect um towards you so for me it's really been that um, i don't know man what would you say to the viewers at home uh, okay. in terms of with, with regards to energies like yeah. i i really believe Uti, confidence is contagious yeah. so if you surround yourself with people that are confident people that are that have um positive energy you will like you will get that positive energy and you will portray it to, to the people around you. And if you if you constantly surround yourself with bad energies, you will inherit them and you also have you you lack confidence okay. basically. And um when you're not confident about something, like if you wanna start something, if you wanna do something, if you wanna get yourself out of your comfort zone. The advice I have, I have for you is just start. Yeah. Just, just start. There's no other way. Like just go for it, head first. Like jump in. Yeah. There's no other way. And 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 sorry, uh, I just like what you said about. You said hang around confident people, right? Because there's this quote, guys, that says, you know, the fifth rule. Whatever company you keep. Okay, it's basically you become the average, the average of the people you keep. You know. If you're hanging around confident guys, you're gonna be the sixth confident person. That's if you're hanging around five confident guys. If you're hanging around um, five fools, you're gonna be the sixth fool, you know. You just mimic the behavior of yeah. the company you keep. So definitely more confidence, just hang around confident and people. Just to add on what Toby just said, um, like if you hang around confident people, it's like you also be confident, like right? just to add on what this two say. But I also believe that uh, as human beings, we project what we our internal state. Definitely. So um, actually, if uh, you hang around negative people, even if unconsciously, oh, sorry for being for being in those terms, they need to learn. But um, unconsciously, they may not know that they are negative. Mm -hmm. But their behavior that you see people project on you, yeah. you see how they talk. Maybe you be like, oh, my friend, I want to start a business. Mm -hmm. like, just get a job. Do you know, just do you get a job. Have the you know, like, so the moment you see that behavior, guys, balega, like run. I feel like to just add on top of that, like I believe that you know, I just want to tell the viewers that you just gotta believe in yourself. Mm. You know, believe in yourself like it's a religion. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna manifest it. You know, speak everything to existence, and just always know that just be yourself, and everybody else is already taken. Yeah. Like straight up. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's it guys, um, from me and Tor, I'm saying thank you, thank you for watching, thank you for making it this far, and I hope you liked the video guys, and please comment guys, let us know what you think, let us know who you think the winner is, which I think is pretty obvious, it's me, right? Hey, yeah, right, so confident. <laughs> yeah, so guys, let us know who you think your winner is, or let us know who you relate to rather, who do you think perceives confidence? the way that you do and please guys from the bottom of my heart i'm really really begging you if you haven't hit the subscribe button please subscribe if you're afraid of coronavirus please subscribe and if you want to make it to 2021 please subscribe all right guys from open chats this is it hopefully we see you on the third episode if you're new to the channel please feel free to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video please smash on that like button and remember guys at the end comment on who you think your winner is <laughs> um confidence means a lot of things man like uh the way i work the way i present myself the way i just carry myself as a human being man i just feel like it's just within me you know and like something that i had to build it as time to time but without confidence i feel like i couldn't be in any way places done a lot of work and been in such certain situations that i had to meet so many privileged people in my life so i'll um, say that's just about it okay um 
Uh, for me, I would say confidence is more freedom. You know, um, being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, and however you want, regardless of what people say, regardless of what people think. Um, for me, that's what confidence is. It's just the ability to do yourself and be you with with freedom and a crazy level of comfort. And as for what does confidence look like, honestly. Uh, most of the time we think the loudest people are confident but that's actually not true i think there's no specific link to confidence it, we portray confidence differently as individuals otherwise for me it's all about freedom so um i'm Tuana, right yeah. so um growing up i was taught that um a, a lady has certain limitations like you get married and you have kids and it means that there's certain things maybe like your working hours have to be limited meaning that you know so that kind of affected my confidence in terms of not believing in myself because I want to be a, a, a businesswoman. So it means that I have to put more time, invest more uh, energy. Uh, you know, I won't have I won't have that time. My culture expects me to have to build yeah. the household. You know, you know. So that kind of affected my confidence. Like, oh my gosh, it means that my wife I won't be able to do this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are aspects of my culture that um, Lane should do this and that affected my confidence in believing that I can achieve me being a businesswoman. For me, I don't think it's it was culture, but maybe society. Yeah. Like society has this perfect picture of what a lady should be, should be like. You should you shouldn't wear certain things. You should carry yourself in a certain way. And I don't believe that's how it should be. Because if you're confident, you should be able to do whatever you want. You should be able to wear whatever you want. Okay. So they put us in a like culture and society puts women in a box. Like you should be this and not be whatever that she wants. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for me, uh, culture and belief, I would say it's 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 not necessarily culture and belief or stereotype or whatever, but it's it's those people that you know people that are so realistic, people that are so uh, realistic, and whenever you share your dreams or your aspirations, they always bring that aura of come on man. Yeah. Uh, this is you. Come on. <laughs> you can't be uh, talking about uh, being a billionaire, you know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, that is definitely one thing that affects my confidence negatively. And in the African culture, it's actually a thing, you know. It's okay to dream in accordance to okay. to everyone else's standards. But the moment, it's here. Yeah. the moment you say, I want to own ABC, you know, the ABC a. thing in me, it's now something massive. So for <laughs> me, it's culturally we are extremely limited in what we can dream and that's one thing I hate.